It was scary. When we first learned that Travis had NF and neurofibromatosis, it's progressive, it's unknown, and there's no predictability. When he was a year and a half, his bone issues started showing up. And then when he was two and a half, the geneticist we saw at the time suspected a tumor. Yeah, the tumor made the femur very weak. It was confirmed two and a half weeks later on MRI. And that was hard. That was hard. You look at your little kid and you're like, this is my little kid. He's two and a half. What do you mean, watch and wait? This tumor that we can't do anything about. So we came out here in 2014 for his first clinical trial for the NIH, and then 2015, he started his current one. It's really nice to be able to come back to the Children's Inn after days long appointments of just one after another. You know, it's not easy stuff we're learning about, about him, even if it's great. I mean, nobody comes here for vacation. They might be further along in the journey and you learn from them, or they might just be starting in the clinical trial. And we've been able to share what our family has been through. And Travis can share with kids what, his, what he's gone through. Oh gosh, um, it was a big process when he decided to amputate his leg. I was doing physical therapy and it just broke during one of the exercises. You're faced with the facts and you look at it and you're like, Okay, yes, it's a choice, but really, my alternative isn't that great of a choice. Yeah, it just broke a whole lot, and the last time it just didn't heal. It was hard. I mean, that night before he amputated, that was probably one of the hardest nights of our life. Coming up on the anniversary of my amputation of the second year, I believe, of it being amputated, now he's going on a week-long whitewater rafting trip in, in, down in Desolation Canyon in Utah. I've gone into more activities and I've started also racing go-kart since I don't have my leg to bother me anymore and not break easily. He's able to go and to do this and I think for him too, the amputation was a hard decision, but he knew when he decided to amputate that it wasn't all for nothing. And so he donated his leg to NF Research. Now he's freed, he doesn't have the leg, he doesn't have to worry about breaking that left leg anymore. So to see him kind of come away from that fear and get out and be able to enjoy stuff that he couldn't do before. I have done a lot of skiing and I've done it two years now without the leg. It might be a little bit scarier than what we all hope for, but he's getting out to do it. And that's the part that, you know, as a mom, you're like, oh, but then, then he's doing it and he's flying down the straightaway and he's having fun. And, and you see a smile when he comes off, like, okay, yeah, this is, it's okay. I, this is okay.